So in this video, we're going to look very quickly at a simple way of sketching a cross section through this map of the west of Ireland with a variety of coloured pencils and a simple pad of paper to get an idea of what's going on. But we'll start off with the map. So let's start with the key. And we can see we've got the oldest rocks here, pre-Devonian, going through Devonian into the top end of the Carboniferous. And we can identify these places on the map. So we've got Devonian, old red sandstone rocks, in this brown colour around Kerry Head and on the Dingle Peninsula, and down here at McGillicuddy's Reeks. And as we move away from these peninsulas towards the east, we go into the younger rocks, the green Lemurian on this map. OK, so let's interpret this. We've got old rocks here, young rocks here. So let's imagine going along the coast from the mouth of the Shannon across this west coast. And we go from Lemurian down through the Carboniferous to Old Red Sandstone and back out again here as we go down to here. Then as we go past Tralee, we do the same thing. We go down through the stratigraphy into the Old Red Sandstone that's continuous with the Dingle Peninsula. And then we go back up through the stratigraphy as we go to Milltown. And then similarly, as we come off the southern end of the map, we go back down into older rocks. So to understand this, let's try and draw a cross section from the mouth of the Shannon down through here. And we'll just go down as far as this position to understand these relationships. OK, so let's give ourselves some space. And we can draw a cross section line through here from north to south. So starting in the north, we've got rocks that must be dipping northwards, away from the older rocks to the younger rocks, as we go towards the mouth of the Shannon. So let's just draw these like this, a series of rocks like this, and put some colours on. So we'll start off with the Lemurian in the north. We go down through various other parts of the Carboniferous. We go through that blue into this pink, and then we go through the purple rocks, some dark blue in here, the lower limestone shales, and then at the bottom we go into the old road sandstone as we go south. So a simple sequence of rocks, younging this way towards the north. Then as we come down the south, away from the Kerry Head structure, we go back out through the same units. So let's just pop them on. We can draw the old red sandstone all the way across, then the lower limestone shales. Back through here, a little bit more of the units one. Two. Three. And then finally, into the Nemurian. So that's the rocks we see on this transect. Let's just join them up. So we have a structure here, which just comes over. Something like that. Picking out a broad, antiformal, anticlinal structure with old rocks in the core, young rocks on the flanks. So let's continue as we come south from this structure, we encounter these blue rocks again at Tralee and then go down through the stratigraphy to the Devonian. So let's just put that on here. Presumably then we have a situation where the blue rocks come up to the surface in here like this. So let's just put this on and see where that takes us. We go into the 
next unit down, unit two in here, which is pink on these maps. We then go into unit one, which we're coloring in purple, and then into the core of the structure that forms the dingle structure through here, which is the old red sandstone like this. Continuing down, we go back out through the same rocks as we go down towards Milltown. So we have the old red sandstone limited here, dipping away to the south now. We have our purple rocks unit one of the Carboniferous series in there. Unit two. And then the blue unit on top. And then finally, we go into the Nemurian in light green, running off to the southern end of our section here at X. Okay, so let's join some of these up. Again, we can draw the crest of this antiformal anticline over and bring the rocks from one limb to the other over its hinge like this. So all those units happily go through. Again, old rocks in the core of this, young rocks in the core of the syncline there, young there. So we can understand the general form of the stratigraphy through here. Right, well let's go into the subsurface and we can take the base of the sky blue material around here, our unit three, around and we can take unit two around like this. And we can also take the, this unit in here, unit one, around. So just so we know where we are, let's just color these in. Beneath the syncline, like this. Rather scruffy coloring, let's try and do a better job. And take all these units around. Something like this in the subsurface. But hold on, what about the lower limestone shales? Because we see them here and it looks like they're going down underneath the Carboniferous Unit 1, but they don't appear in the core of the Dingle anticline. So these have to merge somewhere in the subsurface. We don't know quite where in the subsurface, but the edge of the lower limestone series has to wedge out before it comes to outcrop here. So I'll just colour it in there. It's an arbitrary choice where I've terminated it. Somewhere in the subsurface beneath the syncline. Somewhere under here. And we can finish this up by showing the old red sandstone lying beneath everything down in here underneath the whole lot. So there is a working cross-section through this part of the west of Ireland. A couple of large anticlines, a syncline in the middle separating them. We can explain the map pattern of the rock sequence through this cross-section and with the added rub that the lower limestone shales we encounter in the northern fold but we don't find in the southern anticline so that there's a point somewhere in the subsurface here where the lower limestone shales terminates. Quite why, we don't know. But an example there of drawing a cross section through a map to quickly get an idea of how the fold structures work and the stratigraphy works through the surface and subsurface. Finally, let's go back to the map and draw on the continuity of these two major anticlines. One running down the Dingle Peninsula, one coming in from Kerry Head. And we can see that these fold structures come through here and plunge off towards the east. So we have two major anticlines coming through here that plunge generally eastwards 
from the coast here on the west down beneath the rest of Ireland over to the east. So a simple interpretation of a simple geological map.